Hey guys, welcome back to Monitor Comics. If you've ever tried to make a one-shot, I'm sure you've run into a situation similar to this. Okay, so like, my hero starts out powerless, right? And he trains, and he works his way up. And he sets out on his epic quest to save his friend. And along the way, he battles all of these supervillains and learns new tricks along the way. Uh, you got 10 pages to tell the story. So let's break it down. What even is a one-shot? Using our trustworthy friends over at Wikipedia, we can see a one-shot is pretty much a pilot episode for your comic book idea. Even though this definition specifically mentions comic books, a one-shot can also be used in writing and manga alike. Essentially, a one-shot is a short story contained within itself. Let's take a look at a pilot episode. If you haven't seen the one-shot of Adventure Time, I highly recommend you pause this video right now, go over to YouTube and watch it real quick so you can follow along. So let's break the pilot down. Our main characters are Finn and Jake, just like the TV series, and our antagonist is the Ice King. The story is simple. Finn and Jake defeat the Ice King. Simple is the key word here. By having a linear storyline, the creators are able to go nuts on the art style and dialogue. The witty humor and the cartoony action sequences are what give Adventure Time its appeal. This one shot exists to give you a small taste of what this work could be, but ends in such a way that it could never be picked up if the author chose to. But what do I know, right? I'm just some guy typing away on my computer. Well, let me properly introduce myself. I go by Monitor, and I'm a freelance comic book artist. I have a background in photography and graphic design, and I also have attended a selective arts academy. Currently, I am studying fine arts in a wannabe Ivy League university, and I've had my work published in several publications. I uh, also have over 100 total days watching anime on my anime list. That's where my real street cred comes from. My most recent publication was in Saturday AM, the world's most diverse manga anthology. I participated in the annual Summer of Manga competition, and out of hundreds of applicants, only a handful of us were selected to advance. Out of that handful, I was the first to debut with my one shot, Second Serving, in issue 106. If you're not subscribed to Saturday AM yet, then please check them out using the links in my description. For only a few bucks a month, you can have access to tons of cool series, including White Manga's Apple Black and Jay Odin's Hammer. So let's get to it. How did a 19 year old beat out a bunch of adults? The answer is simple. I'm gonna need your mom's credit card number and those three numbers on the back. Jokes aside, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. In fact, my approach was very textbook. I've showed you the definition of a one shot because I've seen tons of artists get rejected in the pitch phase because their ideas weren't short. If you'd like more context about how to nail your pitch, please check out the video linked in the top right corner. Essentially, too many people come in with the idea that a one shot is synonymous with chapter one. This is entirely not the case. With a one shot, you want to get in and get out. It's as simple as that. This isn't the time to try and sell your 10 volume idea. This is a test to see if you really have what it takes to tell a story. If you're truly a creator, 10 to 15 pages should be plenty to tell a full story from beginning to end. The key to doing that is to keep your idea simple. For my next example, I'm going to flash a few pages from the one shot version of Naruto. This pilot is nothing like what it eventually becomes. The story is simple. Naruto is the literal son of the nine-tailed fox demon, and he's an outcast from his village because of it. He helps a painter discover who stole his painting, and earns the trust of someone for the first time in his life. Thus, his ninja journey begins. While many of the themes and art style remain much the same, the story is completely different. This one-shot was more of a mystery genre than an action-adventure, but the overall goal of the one-shot is to give you a taste for what this story could be, while ending it at the same time. The last page of the story is a full resolution, so this entire concept could end there if Kishimoto didn't want to work on it anymore. Let's take a look at my Saturday AM one shot, second serving. The story is simple and straight to the point. We are introduced to an overweight character dealing with the pressure of living with two Olympic athlete parents, and we watch him compete in an all you can eat contest where he inevitably loses, but comes out with a passion he's been repressing all of his life. The first tip I'm going to give you is to keep your story short and sweet. You need this story to resolve completely within 15 pages, so I'd recommend planning your end scene first. Write out the exact ending scene so you can build your way up towards it. Forget about making your work a masterpiece, you want something solid. I kept my work simple by focusing on something realistic. I never had any intention of making the next Naruto or One Piece because frankly, that's near impossible with 15 pages. I went for a topic that no one is talking about, and I went crazy with it. Less is more. So limit yourself. When you limit yourself, your creativity is pushed to its full potential. The second tip I'm going to give you for creating a successful one-shot is to only focus on what's relevant. It's easy to get wrapped up in wanting to draw cool fights, but you have to have a story at the end of the day. 
It's okay to bullshit a little bit in your dialogue. Humor is good. Too many amateur creators are afraid to let their own humor leak into their work because they think it'll hold back the story. This is the complete opposite. If it's done right, humor could be one of your greatest assets. You have 15 pages max, so make every page count. I went through three scripts before I finally settled on the version I wanted to go with. You have to make sure everything lines up in your story. Don't flood your one shot with backstory. Nobody likes that. Your story should be able to stand on its own. This leads me to my third tip. Make your story stand alone. This one shot won't work if you're thinking of it as the first chapter to a series. Think of this as a one and done deal. In my one shot, I only named two of my characters, the protagonist and the antagonist. I didn't even name my setting. I didn't give you any information about the bar where the story took place. I didn't even give you any backstory except for like three panels because all that information is irrelevant to the story. You want to get from point A to point B and that's it. I had an overweight character who lacked confidence because he wasn't an athlete like his parents. That was point A. I got him to find confidence in himself in a sport of his choice, thus making him and his parents proud. That was point B. The only thing I had left to do was fill in the gaps. In order to get from point A to B, I created a situation where the answer was inside of my character all along. I have no intention of this story going anywhere. That's how you have to think when working on a one shot. You just have to tell your story and get out. I even ended my comic with the title because that was my way of dropping the mic and walking off the stage. So let's recap everything that I talked about. Step one, keep your story simple. Avoid any long-term goals or any ridiculously high stakes. In the Adventure Time pilot, we didn't see Finn and Jake saving the world. We saw them dealing with one of the Ice King's petty antics. Similarly, Naruto was the only main character in his one shot. We didn't see him fighting the Akatsuki or trying to rescue Sasuke for 10 million episodes. Instead, we saw him solve a straightforward ninja mission. Step two, Keep your pages relevant. Each page matters. Only introduce concepts you absolutely need in order to interest your readers. In the Adventure Time pilot, we were given a taste of the sarcastic comedy and how the power system might work with Jake and Finn. In Naruto, we are introduced to a world with ninjas and how the nine-tailed fox demon rests within Naruto. Only include what is absolutely necessary. Backstory and filler have no place in one-shots. Step 3. Make your story stand alone. Make this one shot with the intention of never working on it again. That way you can get your work out there for evaluation with all of your cards on the table. If you want to take the work further and develop it as a series, that's great. But a one shot should serve as a test flight to see if your concept, your art, and your execution can stand on its own two feet. I hope some of this made sense to you and I hope you learned a thing or two about one shots. I'm no master or anything when it comes to one shots, but I have seen success with mine, so take that however you want. Don't forget to check out my other videos where I go over manga effects, panels, characters, and pitches. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more juicy content. Leave a comment down below if you're working on your own one shot or you're planning on working on your own one shot. I'd love to hear about it. Like always, you can find the links to all of my social media right down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.